In this video I'm gonna open these 1000 ball necklaces and yes, this is the best way to get arrows. Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a good day. On average, the drop rate of arrow of resistance from barbarians is actually around 5 to 6% and the amount of arrows they drop varies depending on the level of barbarians you're farming. So there are two events that drops these kind of boxes or chests or you know in other words bone necklaces that contain arrows. Other than Lohar's Trail event which drops bone necklaces, the supply boxes that you get from Strategic Reserve event actually also drop arrows of resistance. But the drop rate of supply boxes compared to bone necklaces is very low. For example, you get around 25, 24 to 25 arrows per 100 supply boxes you open. Not to mention that you don't always get supply boxes each time you kill a barbarian. But on the other hand, this bone necklace, they drop every time you kill barbarians and they contain almost over six times the amount of arrows that you get from the supply box. So the Lohar's Trail event happens roughly once a month. Do I invest my AP potions during this event? Not necessarily because in my previous video I mentioned that the best investment for an AP potion is actually during Eve of Crusade stage 1 unless you know you're not aiming for the honor screen during the KVK. Uh, this time I have invested my AP potion to farm these 1000 bow necklaces. The reason why is that right now I am during KVK so I'm actually hitting two birds with one stone. I'm farming honor points while I'm also farming these bow necklaces. Alright without further ado let's open this 1000 bow necklaces and let's see what we get. Okay all right 1000 open up max oh before we open guess how much arrows i'm gonna get please leave a comment down below all right here we go three two one boom if my numbers are correct i should be getting around a little bit over 1600 arrows so let's see if we got that um that's a decent amount of resource almost over 1000 gem that's an information 1000 bone necklaces equals 1000 gems almost all right lower buckle decent amount of re uh, speed ups ah almost 1600 if i were to open 1000 supply box i would only get 250 arrows arrows of resistance here it's like six times more okay there we go in conclusion the best way to get arrow of resistance is by farming barbarians during lohar's trail however the catch is that i highly recommend to actually invest your action point only if you are during kvk where you can farm honor points as well if you are not in kvk i don't advise you to put extra efforts into farming these bone necklaces you should be saving your action points of course you know unless you're a whale <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching i hope this video was helpful and gave you gave you the information that you were seeking if you like this video please leave a thumbs up that will support the channel tremendously and for more videos like this you can subscribe to the channel have a nice day peace